I've been asked quite a few times about how I set up my Compiz settings and get all the fancy effects in Ubuntu. Well, I've been reluctant to show it for some time now, and case in point, this right here on the screen. It crashes, and it can be unstable, and it can break your system spectacularly, and is unrecoverable. I don't even think Compiz Reset works now. I've got a computer to repair downstairs, and this sort of thing's happened to it. Uh, to be honest, I'm just going to end up reinstalling Ubuntu, recover the data, and repair it. Anyway, I will show you what you can and can't mess around with in Compiz because actually it is quite a nice tool to play around with. You get some really nice effects. You can see there I've got the wobbly windows, transparency, a nice border color around the edge. And yeah, oh, and the menus as well. So it is good. So having opened up the CCSM, or Compiz Config Settings Manager, and the install instructions are in the description below for that, I'll show you some of the settings that are quite good to tweak. Uh, first off, stay away from this area right here under Preferences. The import and export settings used to break Ubuntu 12.04. I've not even tried it in Ubuntu 13.04. Um, I just don't want to break the system and have to go around reinstalling everything. One thing to do here in Ubuntu 12.04, unredirect full screen windows. You get better frame rate on full screen applications such as games. Open GL, you can set a texture setting. Enhanced zoom desktop, if you enable that, and you can set like the zoom in effect with a mouse. So that's the super key or windows key and a mouse button. So button four for scroll up and button five for scroll down. I don't mess around with any of the other settings here. I just leave the rest of it as is. Your post heat, brightness and saturation. That's the setting for the drop down menu and pop up menus and a set of transparency of 80 for that. So you just go new and just type in what I've got there. The desktop wall, I haven't changed anything on. The expo effect is quite nice. That's the old multiple desktops. You can switch around and have a different set of applications running on each one. The settings I have on this one are behavior, immediate moves, so that means it can do that, and don't have the wobbly windows, change the zoom time, and the appearance as well, a deformation of curve. Reflection doesn't work too well, the rest of the settings I just leave as is. The Ubuntu Unity plugin, oh there's lots you can do on that one. Now my preference for the Unity settings is actually the Unity tool. So what's this? Unity tweak tool. That's actually a bit nicer for changing all the Unity settings. They just present things a bit better and you can tweak the transparency levels a whole lot easier. But it's changing the same settings as in Compiz, so you could make the same set you could make the same changes there. Oh desktop cube, I believe that still works, but I haven't played around with it for some time now. See, so if you're using the desktop cube, you have to enable that and the rotate cube, and it will disable the expo effect. 3D windows, if you're using the desktop cube, will be the applications jut out from the cube. Oh, and cube gears, another part of cube. And also the cube reflection and deformation, you can turn it to a cylinder. Yeah, that's all very nice. I haven't done that now for some time. All right, the animations. These are changing the application animations here. Now I would tweak these settings but I don't want it to break the recording because it does tend to um, freeze the screen up a bit. If you want to play around with a lot of these settings the trick is to actually increase the duration so you can see what the effect actually is because if you've got it as a low speed you're not actually going to be able to see it. Ah, Here's a problem I've just realized with my theme that I'm using you can't actually read most of these effects and I've just set one haven't I? Yeah, quick let's play around with it now since I've got it. I'll look. Go on, let's try one. Let's open up the terminal and close it. Hey, there you go. But my preference is the magic lamp. Hey, I like that one. I've been using that one for years now. You could do randomize effects here and change different settings for pop up menus and that. So there's a whole lot you can do there. Water effect. 
I think enabling that was what caused Compiz to crash when I rebooted. Paint fire on the screen. Ah, yes. For no purpose at all, yes you can. Ooh. Ah, crap. Okay, well, Compiz just froze up when I enabled the paint fire on the screen, and that was pretty close where I nearly lost the recording. So, anyway, look. I've got it, and it works. So there are paint fire on the screen. <laughs> and if you want to see what the keyboard settings are, there you go, you just go into the effect, and you can take a look. I'm going to try and disable it now. Oh, don't crash. Ah, there it goes again. <laughs> right, it had another freeze when I disabled that. Oh, marvellous. Right, window decoration. That's how I get the blue shadows on all my applications. So I'll just change the settings there. Make the shadow a bit larger. Change the opacity. Set a colour. Change the opacity of the colour. And then for the inactive shadow, again, make similar sort of changes. i change the opacity a bit more here. Should be 200. That's what I normally have it at. So now if I had another application open, there you, are, you can see the shadow changes. Wobbly windows. Well, if you enable that, it will just come up with a warning about disabling the snap windows effect. Yeah, you can just accept that. Just disable the snapping windows because this also provides the same effect. So that's where, yep, yeah, you can see we've got the wobble. And then when you maximize and minimize things. The extras, you can just ignore that. Image loading, again, ignore that one. Utility, mm, yep, yeah, ignore that as well. And lastly, window management. Uh, the application switcher. I would be wary about playing with that now since we've got that application switcher provided by Canonical. The move window is one effect I enable here where you can set transparency. So as you can see, when I move the window, reduced opacity. So I set mine at 75. And that is about all I enable on Compiz. So that's how you can play around with the settings in Compiz Config Settings Manager. Well, it's a good tool to play around with, but as I said, it can break your system. Might be worth taking a backup before you start playing with it. Now, thanks for watching. See you later.